Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. Today, I want to cover one of the common and useful functions. Do you know what it is? It is the replace value function. Say you want to search through the name column for the keyword flower, and replace it with product. You would select the name column, then click on the replace value function. We want to search for the keyword flower, and replace it with the word product. The keyword flower is now replaced with the word product. Here is on of little tip. There are times, the cell contains special character. You don't want to do when come to data cleanse. You can click on one of those cells that contain special character, then click on the replace value function. Power Query will auto fill up the select cell value in the find field. So, you know what is the special character. Delete out others text except the special character. The special character is now removed. I will explain the syntax and details from the next example onward. There are five arguments for the table replace value function. The first argument refer to the table or previous step. Second argument refer to the old value that you want to search for, whereas the third argument refer to the replacement value. The fourth argument is the function. The replace of function is what commonly use here. The last argument refer to the columns you are searching. Previous examples limit you to find the specified single text and replace it with new value. You can replace the highlighted text with the keyword each, then follow by the group column name in the square bracket. We also need to add a keyword each to the third argument, and follow by the replacement value. We replaced an empty value to the group column. Let's replace the empty value to the type column. You replace the value from the type column. If you add a prefix before the column name, it will be added to the replacement value. Check out the result. The prefix is added to each of the rows. You can also apply any relevant functions to be more specific of what you are replacing. Let's use the text start function to replace only the first three characters. Let's reset the syntax, and I will show you how to apply conditional statement. Say we want to replace the value in the group column depending on value in the type column. In the third argument, we can add the conditional statement. If the type column value is legumes, then we add prefix with the value from the type column, else return no change. The type column value that is legumes, are replaced with the prefix plus the type column value. Let us start our last example for the day. Replace the highlighted text with the type column name, followed by an equal sign and the text legumes. For the third argument, we replace the highlighted code with an empty value. Nothing is changed in this case, because the second argument is a logical statement, which will only return true or false. To resolve this, we need to change the highlighted function. Update the function to a custom function as highlighted. Here you go. It worked. So, what does the custom function mean and what it does? Look at the syntax. X represents the first argument, Y represents the second argument, and Z represents the third argument. The custom function states that if the condition in the second argument is true, then return the replacement value, otherwise, return the table value. That's the original value. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.